Melissa's here. Here looking for a new take on some old Japanese art. Hi, I'm Melissa. What's going on? Hi, nice to meet you. You too. Um, I want to get some work done. Nice. I want to quit with. The tattoo represents the last year of my life. I um, left my husband a little over a year ago, and it was definitely a sink or swim type situation. So that's what the wave really is about. On my side. Oh, cool. Because right I have a tattoo back here to kind of connect them, kind of. I have a lot. <laughs> you know what I'll do? I'll tie this motion that you have, okay. and then I'll have it come back and then whoosh, crashing. It won't be exactly like this. That's okay. You're an artist. So okay. do with I don't have anything to do today, so I'm going to get this thing drawn up today, and I'll be ready for you when you get in tomorrow. Okay. So I'll see you then. I'll right. see you. Melissa's back, and Nunez has a new plan. Hey. Hey, how are you? Ready to get this done? Yeah, um, I was thinking about it yesterday. I'm going to probably just draw it on you. Okay. Is that cool? Because that way it'll, it's a lot easier. I can sketch all I want on paper. It's going to be easier to make it flow right on your body. I'm glad that he's actually going to freehand. I think that it's going to come out really nice, and it's going to have a touch of his own personality in it. And that's going to be amazing because he's a great artist. So I'm excited to see what he draws on me, and then I'll prove it at that point. Where are you from? Originally? Yeah. Baltimore? Really? Yeah. You yeah, lived there for a while. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We used to hang out, like, all the time out there. He used to own uh, the tattoo shop in Fells Point. Oh, yeah? Right next to that record store. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, with the yeah. cobblestone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right down on Fells. You're getting a lot of water on your side. What is this all about? <laughs> I was actually married and um, in a really bad relationship with a very controlling person. And I left him a year ago, and this is about that. The tattoo of the wave is, um, it's beautiful and it's large, but at the same time, there's a lot of anger in it. And, um, you know, there were times when I felt like that wave was going to crash down on me. And there are other times when I thought I was just floating on top of it. And that's where I feel like I am now, because it's like sink or swim. Because I depended completely on him financially, emotionally. Were you in a relationship there in my life? No. Like deal breaker this town. <laughs> can't have a relationship here. So what are you doing with yourself now? Well, when I left him, I moved down here all by myself, and I had no money, and I basically had to start all over again. I have a new life, and I love it. It's amazing. So the biggest lesson that I took from it is really, if you've ever been on an airplane, they go through the safety instructions and the oxygen mask. They say when it falls, put it on yourself before you put it on anyone else. And that's how I live now. Just like, you have to save yourself. Are you like, walking around with an Austrian mess? <laughs> no, it's just about that. Taking care of yourself for anybody else. Exactly. If you don't care for yourself, how can you care for somebody else? Exactly. And that's how I live. Check that out in the mirror. Sure. <laughs> wow. Wow. Dig it? I... I love it, Chris. I love my new tattoo. It's amazing. It's exactly what I wanted. When I see the tattoo in the mirror, I'm going to think about the end of a relationship, and I'm going to think about Chris's amazing artistic abilities, and I'm, I'm going to think about um, the strength that I've gained through my whole experience that I'm going to keep with me from now on.